A show that tackles the big issues affecting the BVI and the rest of the Caribbean. Searches for answers to today's big questions and gives viewers a unique perspective on developing stories. Follow the big story with me, Kathy Richards, only on JTV. This show is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, Envy Salon Spa Nail and Barbershop, the Wellness Center, Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tissily Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, HOV Medical and Digicel. Sign up for Digicel Plus Home Light Bundles, faster internet movies and sports. This is The Big Story. I'm Kathy Richards. I want to thank you so much for joining us for this edition. With me in studio, we have Miss Abigail, and we fondly call you Abby O'Neill. Uh, we want to talk today, first of all, welcome to the set. Thank you for having me, Very Kathy. Very studious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we would have witnessed uh, not so long ago the launch of your uh, foundation in honor of your parents, your late parents. Uh, uh, may they so continue to rest in peace, uh, Honorable Ralph T. and Idris O'Neill Foundation. Uh, there was a conversation that was going on at that launch. I was off camera and I was eavesdropping, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ears never close. And I said, you know what, there is more to this that, you know, we need to share with the public for them to have an even greater appreciation for what uh, the foundation means and the more so to continue to support initiatives that will come up from time to time. And before we go deep into that, for persons to get to understand uh, Abby O'Neill and wanting to carry on the legacy of your parents uh, by bringing to life something that they always wanted to have done, help us to understand your passion for education and where it all got started from. Well, Kathy, this is um, an initiative uh, my parents always wanted to do once they retired, a family foundation. But, you know, circumstances, different things happen, and they ultimately passed away. So I felt it was my responsibility to do what I could to get this set up and running. Um, as you know, both my parents were educators. Um, when you talk about nation building, there is a direct correlation to our educators, our, our legislators of the past, and our members of the House of Assembly now that many of them, many of the great ones, would have had a background in education. And so there is something correlating there mm -hmm. when you talk about nation building. Whether you studied education or you taught or you had a great and grounded education, to a certain level, mm -hmm. um, various levels of course, whether it's apprenticeship or area, degrees yes, or yes. whatever. Um, but we, we have to strive for the best in all areas, mm -hmm. in, in, um, in, in what we study, what we apprentice, whether it's um, the creative arts, the, the literary arts, the culinary the, arts, the culinary arts apprenticeships, um, seamanship, that academics, kind of thing, whatever. academics, whatever it is you have a passion for, um, let's, let's push our people into those directions and give them the opportunities so that they can flourish, building our community, um, and, and that way we build our country. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and if we have world-class opportunities for our people, then our people will flourish. Okay, so bring it back to you personally. Mm -hmm. You would have, you would have paid keen attention, I'm sure, to the opportunities that your your parents were guiding you to, and yes. what you would have seen for yourself, and you would have taken advantage of some of of of, of most of those. I'm thinking, and but there were one or two things that you know that you, that your mama said, you know, you should explore this one. Have you said, man, I really want to go here. Yeah, but. <laughs> Growing up, it was it was if um, 
I had to take piano lessons mm -hmm. and I had to take tennis lessons. Oh. But I, I ended up being um, uh, having a keen appreciation later in life for those sports. I'm mad for tennis now. I watch every tournament. I can't play for Anymore, anything. But you used to love to go on the tennis court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, you know, myself is just terrible. And um, <laughs> but. But you develop an appreciation and um, anything I was interested in, they at least made sure I had a cursory understanding mm -hmm. of, of what it was. And if I wanted to go further, the opportunity was there. I ended up in the creative arts doing uh, fashion design. And, um, really? Yes, I did um, before I did uh, international media. So, um, so they, they, they are all for, they were all for, um, not just academia, but mm -hmm. if you have a passion for something, you know, do it to the best of your ability and, and let's try at, with the foundation, what we want to do is, is try to make those opportunities plentiful mm -hmm. or more as, as the years go by, plentiful for, for, for people in the BVI, not necessarily young people, but people of all ages. People, yeah, okay. um, who, who have talent for these, um, these, these various areas. At some point you worked into diving? I'm a school instructor, yes. And I'm a school instructor, yeah? Yes. Okay, a variety of things <laughs> involved in that. And, and so, so the part of the conversation that I heard and that, that caused me to say, come let's talk on the big story, is was the way you see your, your experience and your achievement in interlocking, 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 yeah. uh, how it could spin off if persons should take the advantage yeah. of what the well, the um, does. I was fortunate enough with, with some of my fellow uh, contemporaries to to attend the interlocking um, art summer camp twice. What's the interlocking art summer camp? Okay, well, it's interlocking center for arts education. Mm -hmm. So they teach every every form of art from visual, performing, recording, um, music, dance, theater, Shakespeare, mm -hmm. painting, pottery, uh, film, everything, photography, they, they okay. cover it all. Like a multimedia. Yes, okay. and so um, in the fall they have an academy. In, in the winter months they have a, a private school. Um, and then in the summer they do a camp. And I was fortunate enough to go twice. I actually, the first time I went, uh, Kamal George's was one of the students who okay. I went with. So um, yeah, I learned to play the trombone in four weeks. And by the time I came back, I was at the level where I could join the band in high school. But my main instrument was the saxophone. So it's intensive, mm. but you have fun mm -hmm, at mm -hmm. the same time. And you get to go and see Shakespeare performed. You get um, people coming in for um, concerts, like Natalie Cole came in one summer. And so you, you have the choice to go and see musicals, plays, theater. We did a master class with Bobby McFerrin. Um, so there's all these wonderful opportunities, and I'll be forever grateful for that. But um, we need to expand that experience. People like Arthur Selwood, mm -hmm. Mr. Arthur Selwood, had been to Interlochen and okay. things like that. So I feel that there's a lot of talent here right now, and, and young people especially, that could benefit from scholarships in all of those areas. Mm. Um, and they have to be high school age from, from about, there's juniors right through to high school age. Okay. So um, we are at the foundation are developing a relationship with Interlochen where we could, um, you actually have to audition and qualify depending on the program you want to go into or you could do general arts. And we're working on building a relationship with them where we would have X amount of slots and that will grow over time. We might start with one, Kathy. Yeah, but, understandably so. But, um, but we, we want to be in a place where we have 10 slots a year. Um, sending Capitalize on it. Yes. With like an Olympic team. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then there's the academy. So, you know, it can expand to more. Mm. So we really, you know, that is an amazing experience that I would... I would I would recommend to any family to let their child um, 
Explore. Explore. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So how we know the first initiative of the of the foundation is part of the food and wine, wine uh, festival, festival that is coming up next in April, year. April, yeah. Uh, so to tell us, because the conversation was leading to how through this initiative, the 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 fundraiser that is going to be happening at Rosewood Little Dicks could tie into to those persons, those those persons who participate at that level, how the, it could spin off to them even becoming um, prospective beneficiaries of... of well, uh, so what we've done is that we we have a great lineup of chefs for this event. Mm -hmm. um, we, we have chefs knocking down our door. I want to spend a week in the Caribbean doing oh, great yes. stuff. Yeah, wow. so we were like, okay, the week is full, mm -hmm. but can we call you next year or perhaps do something throughout the year, like mm -hmm. a warm-up event or something like that in, in the middle of the year, like six months out or something like that. Mm -hmm. But this event, um, as you know, my father worked on the development of Rosewood Little Dick's Bay, so we thought it was only fitting. Um, we're working closely with the HLSCC Hospitality Institute and the culinary team, and then we have um, several chefs in contention to come down for this one-off event. You got a big one coming too. It's it's a big one. And mm. I can't say who we're talking to, but <laughs> it, to get it it's out. it's it's going to be it's going to be super wow. Oh wow! Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, that chef will work with the students from afar, set them tasks, give them lessons. Oh. You know, we're we're working out the Prepare, details of, of them for. yeah, prepare, preparing them for when the chef arrives, mm -hmm. and then the chef will spend time with the students. Oh. And the students will then be a part of the brigade that night. Oh. Now, where can you get world-class experience uh -huh. on a dinner like that oh. with, with a chef of that caliber teaching you, <laughs> teaching you and doing a service with them? And mm. so half of the ticket sales from that night will go to the culinary program at HLSCC. Awesome. Two things that, that stood out to me there uh, when you talk about that, I'm hearing now mentorship. Yes. And I'm hearing apprenticeship. And yes. That, that, that goes straight back yeah. to what the, 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 the foundation is yes, and the what the foundation is going to do. Yeah. So wow. it's not necessarily that we, we're sending people off all the time. Sometimes we can bring somebody in to, to do something, um, to work with the technical schools, the music programs, the, this and that and the other, to do master classes. Um, there's a lot that we can do. Um, we just have to be creative and how we can, the key thing is to get maximum impact for what you spend. Mm -hmm. And through doing mentorship and workshops and master classes, that will help us identify the ones that really stand out yeah and that we need to push further okay. and, not, and not stand out that you know they might not be the best let's take food for example since mm. we're talking about that they might be a little rough around the edges with their skill but their work ethic yes their and work adapt ethic adaptability and adaptability yeah. they might be the most improved because they take on the training instead of a I know it all attitude. So all of those things we're looking for in, in when, we, when we are helping someone, mm. when we're pushing someone, because that's, that's very important because when we put our backing behind, we want to know that this person will do their part. Mm. So many avenues that continues to open up for, for persons in the Virgin Islands to keep this territory on this world class stage. You know, we see so many things happening and we think that we are losing it. Uh, but there is so much more mm. happening than the little, uh, mm, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that is keeping the name. I'm so impressed when, when you said that, you know, there are chefs that are knocking on the door wanting to come to this Caribbean yes, yes. island. to. Well, to can you march. blame them? <laughs> It's a British very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and to make sure that you capitalize and, 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 and get the best of what you really envision and know that your parents are there uh, wherever they are in despair, uh, smiling down and saying, yes, this is it. Uh, you, you, you were careful in comp uh, the composition mm -hmm. of the members of the foundation. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Well, um, well, I, 
as it was down to me, really. I, I, I sought advice and I, I took a step back and I said, the best way to go about this is to find or identify and ask individuals who, if they're willing to serve who either had a close relationship to my parents or were their colleagues in a close way. Mm. Um, so we have Dr. Kedrick Pickering. Um, he spoke on the yes. program. We have um, Tony Roberts is our chairman who um, his father, uh, that's a second generation relationship that his yeah, father was he has a, a foundation. Yeah, 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 since his father was here mm -hmm. uh, when I was a little child. Um, and I remember him coming to speak at our school and um, he became, uh, his father became a close friend of my dad and they were my family when I went to the UK to study. And then um, we have Miss Danica Stout, some of my contemporaries, Miss Noni Georges, um, and then we have Ian S. Smith, who okay. is uh, was my father's godson, okay. and uh, he's my godfather. His father is my no, godfather, no, no. <laughs> and um, and then we have uh, Shea Alexander, of course, representing the O'Neill yeah. side, and then there's a couple others I can't mention at this time, but we do have our spiritual advisor, um, Reverend Dr. Keith B. Lewis, okay. who's ex officio, but guides us. He was a close colleague of my mother. Ah, um, so I uh, see. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, it's, so, so it's, it's very balanced in, in all that we do. And you can't forget the spiritual side in everything you do. No, um, so. Because through all things, that's what makes everything possible. Awesome. So now that, you know, we, we, we get a, 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 a more in-depth understanding of the composition, uh, what's it all about, the focus, the areas of focus and all of that. Many persons might be out there, so uh, how do I tap in to <laughs> benefit in some way from this foundation? Well, we're just starting out. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll put that out there. We're just but, but, but starting out. You know what? At the, at the beginning of anything, the, the, the cluster does be there. <laughs> yeah, um, Everybody wants a bite. <laughs> um, but um, we, we are working on, on all of that. Mm -hmm. Um, people will know how to, as we go about our various initiatives, um, we'll make it known how yeah. it's possible to be a part or to qualify for certain things. Um, we're also doing things in joint philanthropy mm -hmm. um, because if you have more, if you multiply your resources, you can do more. So there'll be projects led by us, there'll be projects with other foundations and organizations that we will be a part of and things like that. So um, joint philanthropy is very key in order to multiply dollars to be able to do more. Uh, so there's a, there's a lot happening. It's an exciting time. A lot of work for me. But <laughs> well, uh, keeping you usually busy. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, um, but um, you know, that's our first initiative mm -hmm. with, with, with the students and that is, that is quite intense because we have to coordinate schedules, flights, Everything. accommodation, mm -hmm. food to be prepared, At lesson work, plans, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, all of that. And so, you know, and then work with the resort as well and all of that. So um, it's, 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 it's intense, but the end result will be a wonderful one for HLSCC. Can't wait to hear of that. Abby, I want to thank you so much for sharing. Uh, I, I wish you so much, uh, I wish you well thank with you. the foundation. Uh, again, your parents have been remarkable people to this territory. They will never, 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 ever be forgotten. Uh, yes, when the eyes, okay, it's okay, <laughs> yes, it's all right. <laughs> Uh, but you know, keeping the names alive in this way, and I, I like I like the composition of the name because I kept saying it at every uh, every opportunity I get. The Ralph T and the Idris Foundation, <laughs> the Oni Foundation. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Uh, continue to do the good work. I wish the foundation every success, and I I trust that you know everyone who can uh, take advantage of this to make continue to develop themselves and develop this beautiful uh, this beautiful territory of the Virgin Islands, that they do so. 
feel free to come share with us when anything else is coming up and you know we, we're more than willing to do anything in the name of I Asian appreciate Day. that and thank you for having me Kathy um, it was an unexpected kind of big lunch but um, <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes those are the best ways yes, yes. and um, um, I'll, I'll be, I promise I'll be a frequent visitor when we have news. And you'll be most welcome. <laughs> thank you, Kathy. Thank you so much. And I want to thank you so much for joining us for this edition of The Big Story. I'm Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official Bank of Paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us. A bank that gives where it matters the most. For you. For our community. And a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Everyone looks to the future, but no one truly knows what the future holds. The number of people under the age of 20 with type 2 diabetes could increase by 49% by 2050. Let it be known that we all have a 30% chance of developing hypertension. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages suffer from depression. More than 60,000 young adults aged 20 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Obesity leads to problems such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney failure. No matter your race, age, or color, we are all at risk. These diseases can be managed or prevented if caught early. But with the right medicine and the right doctors to keep us on a path to live a robust and healthy life. We will live well. Plug into Digicel Plus and get even more entertainment with Disney Plus included. The best of Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic all in one place. Whenever you want, plug into Plus to enjoy Disney Plus and much more with a home fiber bundle. Sign up today, Digicel Plus.